Hey, what's up guys? Ali here from mysocialu.com and welcome back to my channel. In this video today, we're gonna talk about Facebook carousel ads. What are they and how do you create one for your business? Before we jump into it, you know what to do, right? Subscribe, hit the bell icon and also like this video. All right, now let's jump into this and talk about Facebook carousel ads. Why do I like them? First of all, I wanna show you an ad campaign that we just made uh, and it's actually live right now. Here is the Facebook carousel ad. This is what it looks like. So if you look at this, and you can guess why I am a big fan of this, you're able to show multiple products. If you're a retail store, or maybe you have multiple e-commerce products, a drop shipping store, or you can actually use multiple images to tell your brand story. So that's why I love using Facebook carousel ad. And in this example, as you can see, it's for a retailer a local business and we have a Black Friday or Black November sale uh, that's going on or that just started and we're using multiple images to showcase that. So that's what a carousel ad is. Now, how do you create one for you or your business? Let's jump right into that. So I'm gonna go right into the Facebook Ads Manager and then we're gonna actually create a brand new campaign and I'll show you step-by-step -step process of uh, creating a carousel ad for your business. So we're gonna click on create and now this is the brand new uh, experience for Facebook ad creation. They just changed it recently. So first of all, step number one, Facebook ad is always three-step process, your objective, your ad set, which is your audience, and then your actual ad. So objective, audience, and ad, that's the, the three steps. So in this case, let's actually, our goal is to drive traffic from Facebook to a landing page or a page where we have listed all the products for sale. So I'm gonna pick, you can pick other ones as well, but in, for the uh, uh, example in this video, let's pick traffic. So what this means is we wanna drive traffic from Facebook outside to a landing page. And uh, now uh, let's click on optional and we can name our campaign. So I'm just gonna call it test and the name of the ad set, also test, and then the actual ad. Because what I want to really want to show you inside this video is the ad level and how do you create those multiple images or that carousel. Uh, let's hit continue. And now Facebook is gonna create the structure of our campaign. So here's a test and then test and test. So you're seeing uh, not a good name that I selected, but you get the point. All right, so let's go, right now we're looking at the, the campaign level, so everything looks great. Uh, let's hit next, and then we're gonna go to the ad set level. And obviously at the ad set level, first of all, in this example, we wanna send traffic to a website, so make sure that is selected. If you wanna send traffic to Messenger or WhatsApp or your app, you can do that as well. Super, super easy. And now the biggest thing, obviously, at the ad set level is, Make sure you select your budget, whatever your budget uh, is for this campaign, $5, $10, or based on your strategy, make sure you select that. And I also, the audience, so who do you wanna target with this campaign? So for example, in this case, you know, we wanted to target people, we already have saved an audience of top zip code. So these are the people, we have the data, these are the people who have in the past, purchased at this business. So we have that data and we save that inside uh, Facebook Ads manage Manager. By the way, if you wanna learn more about how do you build and save different type of audiences, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to create a separate video and cover that topic in more detail. But, so for this example, we're gonna pick that, uh, but make sure you pick the audience that is the right audience for your campaign. So if you're you know, selling uh, entertainment products or fashion products or products for dog lovers or moms. So based on that, make sure you pick the right audience. Very important step. And now optimization. So you can pick link clicks or you can also pick the landing page view. What this means is, and actually it's right here. So if you pick link clicks, Facebook says we'll deliver your ads to people most likely to click on them. So people who are likely to click on your ads. But if you pick landing page views, will deliver your ads to people who are more likely to click on your ad and load the website. So very important. So with link clicks, you get more link clicks, but with the landing page views, 
Facebook also tries to optimize and show it to people who are likely to click, go to your page, and also let that page load. So it's totally up to you. You can also A-B test this if you like, um, but based on also for our clients, based on the, the goals of the campaign, we select different ones. So in this case, let's go with the landing page and then hit next. Now this is where the magic happens. So I'm gonna test carousel ad. This is where we create those multiple images like this. Look at this. Right here. Let's go back. And if you have connected your Instagram account to your Facebook, you can select that here as well. And now in your ad setup, so this is very important. So make sure here is the, the carousel, right? So there are three options. You can select single image or video carousel and collection and if you look at carousel, carousel you can select two or more scrollable images or videos so that's what we're going to do in this video so that's the most important part if your intention is to create those carousels make sure at the ad level you under format you select that option and now if you scroll down we're going to skip the instant and playback uh, option then right here and this is where the carousel adds. This is where you start building those images, those scrollable images. And I'll build one and two and show you the example, but you can build up to 10 inside Facebook. All right, now let's do this. So here's the first image. So first let's select an image. We already did, so I'm gonna just select something from here. Image for kitchens and then head, headline I'm gonna say kitchen 60 percent off and then the description and obviously you want to make sure you have the the headline and the description that matches that's compelling that describes your offer or your product and also that speaks to your audience these are just examples that i'm uh, giving right here but as you can see so your headline is going to appear right here Look at this, and your description is gonna appear right here. And then you can uh, put the website URL. Now, this is very important. Do not just send, if your intention is to promote a specific product, a specific page, so make sure you use that landing page or that URL. Right now, it's showing the, the home page, which is fine, uh, but you wanna send people to a very specific landing page. It's totally different. Uh, I know it's not relevant to this video, but I wanted to point that out. If you're driving traffic to from Facebook, make sure your, your intention, make sure you know what landing page or what page they're going to. Some people do drive it to their home page, but in that case, they design their home page in a way that it capture leads or maybe create sales. So as long as uh, you know what landing page you wanna send traffic to, that's the URL you wanna use here, here, right? So as you can see, we have the first image in our carousel. Now let's create another one, which is gonna be right here. So I'm gonna click on this. And now let's select another image and I'm gonna select from here, but if you wanted to upload from your computer, it's super easy. You'll just click on upload and then upload that image from your computer. I've already done this. And then let's do a headline. So I'm gonna say laundry pairs. save up to 60% on brand new lawn repair. Whatever text you wanna put in there, that's what you gotta do. And then the landing page. In this case, actually, the, uh, the example I was showing you earlier, let's see if I still have it up there. So what we did, we are sending people from every image to a separate, either a page or separate section. So. For example, right here, so these are the home audio and me streaming media. When people click on this, they're gonna go to like electronic section. Look at this, right here, right? And then if you scroll down, let me see. Right here, if I click on this, they're probably gonna go to another section of your website, right? So point being, and here is, if you click on that financing, you're going to a completely different part of your website. So the point I wanna make is, 
as you are building these carousel, you can link every image to a different, if needed, needed uh, a different URL. So when people click on a certain image, they can go to the relevant and the right URL. So that's the point I wanted to make. So for example, in this case, I'm just gonna use the same, but you can definitely link an image to a specific URL. That's what we've done in the actual campaign that's running. All right, so those, that's a second image that I have. And as you can see, it's being built right here. If you wanted to see how this looks like, you can expand this and then see how this will look like. On the mobile, let's see on the Facebook. This is what it's gonna look like, right? And you can build, you can add, so right now for the example, I have two images added, but you can add up to 10 images. So you can continue adding different images that you wanna promote or different, the, the brand story that you wanna tell for your business. Super, super easy. Uh, let's skip this and go on to the next one. And then basically, here's the couple of options that I like to, uh, the first one is automatically show the best performing cart. So if you have multiple products, and let's say if one of them is performing the best, Facebook is gonna put that first. So it's up to you, I like to select that. So that also kind of optimizes my ads for more landing page views or more clicks. And then add, add a cart at the end with your page's profile picture. So at the end, uh, after like 10 images or, or maybe you're using five or six, it shows the profile picture for your business page. You can do that as well. And then the primary text is, uh, primary text is what shows up on the top of uh, your campaign or your ad. So I'm gonna say Black Friday sale, 60% off before 11 uh, the November 30th. And that text, whatever text you put in there, that's shown right here on the top of your ad. And let's see if we still have this example right here. So for example, this is the text that we use in the primary text field, all this right here. Let's go back. And then you can, if you wanted to A-B test your um, text or add copy, you can add another option. So totally up to you. And then here is the, the URL that you wanna, uh, you wanna use. Again, you know, make sure you use the right URL so you send traffic to the right location. Uh, display link, call to action. So call to action is something that appears, look at this right here. So if you have an offer, maybe you wanna use get offer, learn more. So depending on what type of, sometime you wanna use shop now, it's totally up to you what action you want people to take. So in this case, you know, learn now or shop now both make sense. So we can, you know, select either one. And then let's, Facebook pixel is selected and that's it. This is how, so once you're happy with everything, uh, you can click on publish and then your ad will go to the Facebook for in their approval process. And it might take a couple of hours, sometimes like a day or two to get the ad approved and up and running. But this is how you can create amazing Facebook carousel ads. And like I mentioned, the reason I love them is you are able to show multiple products. So if you're a retailer, e-commerce store, dropshipping store, this could be a game-changing option for you to test these Facebook carousel ads. And also, you can also uh, tell your brand story, use these uh, carousel ads. Super, super exciting. And as you can see, they're very easy to build inside Facebook Ads Manager. So if you haven't used them, go test them for your business. If you have any questions on Facebook carousel ads or Facebook ads in general, leave those below in the comments. Before you go, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and also like this video. I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye for now.